Eh. This kind of video that you might think is a joke. It's not Photoshop. You suck at it. I've seen you guys work. It's goddamn terrible. And it's time for you to learn. My god. Before I did YouTube, I was very active on anime forums. That's right. I would get really interested in making these anime icons or a avatars and signatures. And I didn't really know how to make them. I just saw other people having them. I'm like, that's really cool. I wish I could do those cool anime avatars. God damn it. Uh, so I picked up Photoshop and uh, it was a great thing. I really love Photoshop. It's one of my favorite tools. I think it, it brought me so much in life. I don't think I would be as big on YouTube if I, if I didn't know how to use Photoshop. So here I am hoping to spark a little bit of interest in case you're interested in Photoshop by showing you how to make a decent looking YouTube thumbnail. No joke. Okay, look at this by the way. All of them are gone. This one I was so proud of, the Miku one. I won a competition. Because of that one. You know how much time it took to animate those goddamn things <laughs> when you don't know how to make a GIF? <laughs> Look, I got second place in this competition. How about that? First of all, you want to get the aspect ratio right, okay? 1920 times 1080. Put 300 if you're gonna print that bitch. That's all you need to know. Create. There you go. See, so many of you plebs have the wrong goddamn aspect ratio. Now, I know this is a lot to take in, my man. But don't you worry. This is what you want to look at, okay? If, you, if if it doesn't look the same as me, just calm down, take a deep breath. We're gonna go to window, and we're gonna make sure we have layer and tools and history. I am by no means a Photoshop expert, okay? I'm just, we're, but we're gonna try and keep this nice and simple. What kind of thumbnail should we make? How about a Jacksepticeye? guy? Now we need a good quality picture, okay? All right, how about this? That's a good quality. Copy that bitch and paste it into the Photoshop. Okay, now we have our first layer. Wow, incredible. First of all, we want to adjust the size. Hit Control T. Now we can move that bitch around, okay? Hold down Shift to keep the aspect ratio. Hit one of the corners and drag that bitch. If you don't hold Shift, you're gonna end up like this. Okay, what I what I tell you about aspect ratio. That's, that's right, don't... Get up. Is this too fast for your hotcakes? Try to keep up. What we're going to do next is crop that mother flipper. That's right. There's many different ways to do this. This is the thing about Photoshop. There's there's so many different ways to, to get through different things that you want to do. A lot, I see a lot of people do this. Uh, they use the lasso tool and they just drag. Pfft, a bunch of plebs. A bunch of goddamn plebs. Look at that. That looks terrible. Okay. What you want to do is you want to use the goddamn pen tool. Okay. I know people are scared of the pen tool, but it's the best tool, and if you're good like me, and if you're a Photoshop god like me, it works out pretty simple. We're gonna start by putting down a dot. Look at that. If you wanna get rid of that, you gotta hit delete, okay? You can't just dot and then start doing other things, okay? That will fuck you up. You, once you've dotted, you can't undot, unless you hit delete, of course. The pen tool it sort of curves the lines for you and it makes it smooth. Uh, it is a little weird once you start off, but basically we'll pick a point here That doesn't look good, right? But if you hold down your mouse button and you can drag and look at that Now I haven't just curved this line I've also already thought about where the next line is gonna be with this thing So if we hit here, it's gonna be nice and easy to do another curve coming up ba ba da bap easy it takes a little bit of practice you really don't have to make it perfect. It's gonna look nice anyway. Just make sure here, for example, that you go inside of the hair rather than too much on the outside. If you do something you don't want, you can always just go back in history. Is this too much for your hot cakes? See, you can do it relatively quickly. The thing that you gotta make sure though is that you connect them at the end. So you get a little circle coming up on the pen tool. Boop. That means it's ready to connect. There you go, we have our thing. What I usually just do is right click on the thing here, hit make a selection. You can add a feather, but that's for pussies. I'd rather do that later. Now we have selected his face, but how do we delete the background? Oh, I'll just hit delete, Felix. Nah, no, fam, look what you did. Get away from here, control Z that bitch. We gotta inverse the selection by hitting control, shift, I, done. Now you can hit delete. Isn't that right? You're wrong! 
Only plebs delete directly, okay? You gotta hit the mask button. And if you do the mask button, you don't even have to inverse. You can just hit it. Bam! Bam Shazam on a lamb. Look at that. Now we have the mask selected there. Look. Huh? Now we have the picture selected. Mask selected, picture selected. Mask selected, picture selected. If I select the mask, I can paint and shit all over. And look at this. I can paint back all over. Wow. You don't need to know any of this, actually. Never mind. Now we have a Jacksepticeye. Look at him. Look at him go. Very happy. Very pleased with this crop. Hey, beauty. What's the next step? Finding a nice looking background. What should we go for? Something psychedelic, perhaps. Oh, whoa. This is really trippy. This looks good. Copy that shit. Paste it. Now we have it on a new layer. Oh my god. Two layers? I know. This is pretty hardcore stuff. What did we learn? Hmm? Hmm? What did we learn? How do we adjust the size? That's right. Control T. That's right. That's right. And what else did we learn? That's right. Never fuck up the aspect ratio. Hold on. Hold down shift and drag it. Beautiful. But I can't see Jack. I know. Calm down. Just drag the layer underneath Jack. There you go. Now it has this sort of vortex thing in the middle, right? So we kind of want it to be there. But oh no. We have all this space here to the left. What possibly could we do? Simple trick, my man. Press M. Okay, which makes this square selection. Select this bit, all right? Hit Control J, which makes a copy of your selection in a new layer. Hit Control T, and then, no shift this time, fam. Just drag it over. Just drag it over. No one will know anything. It will be our little secret. Now we have two layers doing the same thing. We want to merge them. Click on one, hold down control, click on the other, right click, merge layers. Bam. It's one unified son of a bitch now. What a lot of YouTubers do is they add this like background, right? Uh, everyone, me everyone messes with the FX. This little button down here. So select the Jacksepticeye layer. And then hit FX. Everyone does this. Outer glow. Look at look at that. Wow, it's so glowy and nice. But today we're going to do something a little different. Pull that range fam to the bottom. Okay. Then may adjust the size like that. Make it uh, make it uh, not very spreaded. About 84%. Look at that. That looks pretty interesting. Now we're gonna do a drop shadow. Are you ready? Bam. And then hit OK. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty interesting, you know? It makes it different. It makes it pop. It makes it good. Uh, now we're gonna add a text. Go to the font. Okay. They have all free fonts. It's really good. You want something uh, very bold, easy to read, and uh, kind of like this. Are you ready? Is this too advanced for you? That's right. You hit T. You click with your mouse. You select the font up here. Look, I have Beba's ready. I suck. Look at that. Hit Control A to mark your font. Select the color. Uh, it will all. You can just click on his stupid hair, and there you go. We have the same one. Now press V to move that bish around. Adjust the size, maybe. Maybe uh, go on the edges to change how it is tilted and stuff. Okay. Press Enter, and then we have a pretty neat looking looking font. That is if you're an idiot, of course. We're gonna add effects on that bitch. Now, we already added effects on Jack, so we can cheat a little bit. We can hit Alt, and then drag the outer glow to the eye suck. And same thing with the shadow. Look at that. We didn't even have to do any work. My god. I actually don't really like the outer glow. I think it looks too much, so we're just gonna double click on the drop shadow to edit it. And then just decrease it a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. Now we're gonna control T, right click, and warp, and then just drag, and make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, go with the flow, you know? Anything to stand out these days. Everyone is doing thumbnails. You gotta make them right. You gotta make the details. This is advanced stuff. This is only for the pros. But I'm telling you the secrets, because I know you can't keep up. Press enter. God damn, that looks good. But I'm thinking misses a little bit of glow. So let's go to outer glow. And yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Remove the size a little bit. You know what? I'm feeling crazy. Let's add a shadow again. How many shadows can I add? As many as I goddamn please, mom. And then let's make it spread a little bit. This is details. This is details. Hits control 
and minus. Zoom out. Control plus zooms in. Control minus zooms out. Now we can look at it. We need to judge it from a perspective. Oh, look at that. I can read the font from the thumbnail. How about that? Minor adjustments. We're almost done. Hit control T. Adjust that son of a bitch. Adjust that son of a bitch a little bit more. That's right. Same thing with this bitch. Basically, uh, what I like to do is uh, fine fine tuning touches when I'm done with my thumbnail. I'll create a new layer. And then I hit Control Alt Shift E, which basically merges all your layer and creates a new layer for you. So you have that here. It's really, it's really useful. Uh, zoom in a little bit. Control Plus, Control T, and then I like to adjust it, the crop a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. And there you go. We're done with the beautiful thumbnail. If you're a moron, Control U, add up the saturation, make the kids want to click on that bitch, and then okay, look at that. Saved. We just did a thumbnail. Oh. Was this useful? <laughs> Listen, I just see all of you make really ugly thumbnails, and I hope this helps maybe a little bit. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try and answer some of them. Photoshop, there's a million tutorials out there of Photoshop. It's really the kind of thing that you can easily, easily self-learn it by watching tutorials. And it's really fun to learn. It's really fun to create stuff. I really recommend it. There's a 30 day free trial, or you can just torrent it. I mean, it's fucking crazy expensive. Let's get real here. That's all for me for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I know this is different and, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe most 99% of people won't even care. But thank you for watching anyway. And squad fam out.